I really want to go with my Shrek green, but I may, may just go back to this original baby blue. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to work on this thing and get it running. So I'll have a have it back because I, I have a plan to put a bed on the back of it. So I'm just going to take everything off. I may go ahead and paint it as well, but I need to tear the motor down to find out what was really wrong with it. So. Uh, my son didn't really remember. He just said it quit working. He did say he thought he saw smoke. Um, so I'm just going to tear it down and see what's going on with it inside. Hopefully it's just the, you know, nothing's cracked or anything, just some gaskets and a piston should fix it. So I'm going to tear this down over the next few days, but I'm also going to make a pallet coffee table. So i got two projects going right now and that's what I'm going to work on. But um, out of the three choices, I chose to work on this first, get him going. And uh, then when the tractor parts come, I'll pull that in here, take the take the stack off so it'll fix or fit, um, get it in here and kind of take a look at the tractor and see if I can get it going so I can pull some of these uh, down trees in the back into a big pile and chop them up or something. But I'm going to get working on this, get it all tore apart right now, um, all the top and the trim and everything off so I can take a look at it and see if I want to paint it or not. And then I'll start tearing into the motor in a little while. My son power wash it tomorrow while he's off uh, just power wash the whole thing even the motor because I am going to rebuild the motor too. Um, get a kit for that and do that as well I'm still deciding on what color of paint I'm gonna use I really want to go with my Shrek green but I may may just go back to this original baby blue kind of keep it keep it real um, I don't know I still haven't decided yet so that's up in the air and I'll, I'll pick it I won't probably paint it until after I get the motor rebuilt just to make sure that you know that was the problem uh, my son overheating it doesn't sound too bad I mean it's still um, you know there's no clanking or anything it just won't start and I did put a thing on there it's like, like 25 psi or whatever it is compression on the little uh, gauge so um, I think maybe he just blew some gaskets or the rings or something I don't know so I'm just gonna buy the piston set yeah, one piston set one piston it's a kit um, it's like 60 bucks comes with all the gaskets and a piston so hopefully that's all this the issue and we'll get her going again and uh, then I'll paint it and but I'm gonna get it all cleaned off so I can work on it um, I did notice there's a little rust spot right here that was under the molding and then there's that hole over there um, that had that sticky tape if you look at a couple online you'll see that stuff it's like a it's the no skid stuff but uh i don't know why they had it up there i guess for looks but it was uh peeled on there look at that nice good paint and <laughs> paint underneath there uh, still that original color of blue so yeah i'll probably get a little plate maybe weld that up i'm not sure uh yet or if i'll just put some of that molding back on i'm probably not gonna put that back on there I'll just have the color out and maybe put a piece of a uh, little rubber down on the bottom or something so we'll see how it goes I'm not real sure what I'm going to do yet. There are some, you know, dents and bangs. Um, I've seen a lot of people that don't put the little pads back on here, so I may not do that either. I may just fill all these holes and paint it. So, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned, and we'll see how it comes along. Hopefully more next weekend.